Hudson Taylor's Choice Sayings, Chapter 13, Rest. Come unto me, and rest. Note well the word of Jesus, dear brother or sister, if you are heavy laden with your service, and do not mistake it. It is not, go labor on, as perhaps you imagine. On the contrary, it is, stop, turn back, come unto me, and rest. Never, never did Christ send a heavy laden one to work. Never, never did he send a hungry one, a weary one, a sick or sorrowing one away on any service. No, for such the Bible only says, Come, come, come. Let us give up our work, our thoughts, our plans, ourselves, our lives, our loved ones, our influence, our all, right into his hand. And then, when we have given all over to him, there will be nothing left for us to be troubled about or to make trouble about. What a comfort it is to notice how largely the indicative mood is used in the scriptures. All the definiteness and assurance we can desire are conveyed by positive affirmations in the indicative mood. It is noteworthy that each encouragement is either conveyed in the present tense or is based upon it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Next morning, when I awoke, I felt a little inclined to trouble, but he gave me a word. I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them, and certainly I will be with thee. Exodus 3, 7, 8, and 12. And before 6 a.m., I was as sure that help was at hand. As when, at noon, I received a letter containing more than 300 pounds. At every time, in every place, about every matter, if you feel heavy laden, pause at once. Come to Jesus and rest. Pillow your head on his bosom. Pour your burden into his ear. Delight your soul in his love. And then, when rested and refreshed, whatsoever he saith unto you, do it. And you will find that a little word will go a long way. What a privilege it is to be permitted to rest upon the assurance, I will go before thee. Thou shalt not be without a guide, and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. I will make the crooked places straight, the rugged places plain, and when thou comest up to them, thou shalt find insurmountable difficulty ready already removed. That thy foes, like Jehoshaphat's, have slain themselves, and that thou hast to strip off the spoils, and to make the valley one, not of conflict, but of praise. Hey, Baraka. When the heart submits, then Jesus reigns, and when Jesus reigns, there is rest. It is not too common to make the best plans that we can, and to carry them out as best we may feeling all the while a great burden of responsibility, and earnestly asking the Lord to help us? Whereas, if we always let him be our instructor in service, and left the responsibility with him, our strength would not be exhausted with worry and anxiety, but would all be at his disposal and accomplish his ends. When all is in his hand, all will be safe, all will be wisely dealt with, all will be done, and well done. Oh, the depth of the preciousness of the words. He maketh me to lie down. Do we not know all too well what it is to be too weary to lie down, too restless to be able to take the needed quiet? But when he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? When he maketh us to lie down, who can harness and distress? Who can harass and distress? Satan would have us try today to bear tomorrow's burden with only today's grace. 
and would dismay us with anticipation of troubles which loom in the distance, leading us to disobey the directions. Take no thought for the moral. Be careful for nothing. The assurance that the Lord is our shepherd carries with it the guarantee that no one of his sheep will lack that help, that protection, that guidance, for which their varying circumstances may call.